Kadar Uzin AK, I am a consultant thoracic surgical oncologist and I practice at Apollo Proton Cancer Center, Chennai. So today we would like to focus more on lung cancer, staging, diagnosis, prevention and treatment aspects. Lung cancer is the cancer which occurs in the lungs. The lungs are the nothing but the organs of respiration where we try to breathe in and out every day at 18 to 20 times per minute. So lung cancer, the people who are prone for getting lung cancer are the people who smoke almost every day, 15 to 20 cigarettes almost for 15 years, that's one. Second thing is the people who are getting polluted with the air. Third thing is the people who are exposed to the industrial workers like aromatic chemicals, rodan factories, dye factories, petrochemical factories and other things. Lung cancer is the one of the most commonest cancer in the world wide and it is the most commonest cancer even in India. Why? The reason is because of the pollution as well as the smoking. So broadly uh, for the layman, the lung cancer is divided into stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4. But technically as well as uh, medically what we call as a uh, curable lung cancer. So stage 1 and stage 2 are almost curable lung cancer. Stage 3 is a little locally advanced lung cancer where it can be still cured with the tri-modality of treatment like surgery, chemo and radiation and other allied treatment. And stage 4 is the, uh, the terminal uh, disease. Uh, lung cancer where usually patients uh, don't survive for more than 3 to 5 years. The lung cancer actually is classified into only two types we call it as by science we call it as a non-small cell lung cancer and a small cell lung cancer. The non-small cell lung cancer is the commonest one and the small cell is the least one. And the small cell cancer is one of the dreaded disease of the lung cancer. And among the non-smell, we have got so many varieties like adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and adenosquamous carcinoma, and adenocystic and other things. But in India, adenocystic carcinoma is quite rare. And adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma are the commonest lung cancer that we see in Indian population. Early lung cancers, generally they don't have any symptoms at all. That is what is quite difficult to diagnose early uh, generally, when the patient goes in a little advanced stage, patient usually complains of uh, coughing out of blood. Then patient can have shortness of breath, that is difficult in breathing. Patient can have chest pain. Patient can have sometimes very rarely fever. Patient lose their weight, lose their appetite. Sometimes they can have a bony pain. And they can also have sometimes headache, vomiting and something called as a convulsions we say. So these are the uh, overall symptoms of lung cancer. One is lung cancer can be diagnosed clinically, second thing is by imaging, third thing is by invasive technology and fourth is by the what we call as a cancer scan called as a PET CT body scan. So we can diagnose it either by doing a, a biopsy through the bronchus or through the CT guided and once we get the biopsy based on the type of uh, the, the report then we, then we do the staging workup like whole body PET CT scan. And based on that, we stage the disease like stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. And according to the stage, we will plan our treatment. Uh, traditionally, in the past, we were using a lot of open surgeries, which was quite uh, difficult for the patient because of more pain, more bleeding and uh, more duration of stay in the hospital and cost was more. And the plan for the further treatment was delayed almost for a month. Now we are doing the surgery by minimally invasive technique that's called as a video assisted thoracoscopic surgery where we try to put three or four holes in the chest and try to do the entire surgery inside the chest cavity. The latest advance is robotic uh, thoracic surgery where still we use a very uh, sub centimeter incision in the chest three to four, four, three to four holes and do the surgery in the chest which makes the patient very very less pain, less invasive, very less bleeding. Patient can go home on the third or fourth day 
and the plan for further treatment is generally started within a week. So these are the biggest advantages of our minimally invasive thoracic surgery for the lung cancer patients. You cannot prevent a lung cancer. Only thing we can detect early and cure them early. So the best way of uh, detecting early and curing early is you, you have to go and meet the local physician and get the CT scan, CT chest actually we say. And we found out any nodule and based on that we would like to investigate further and have a regular follow up. Today actually we were focused on uh, how to uh, diagnose lung cancer, how to treat and how to detect them early and how to prevent them. So these are the uh, few tips of uh, early lung cancers and late lung cancers diagnosis, treatment and prevention. And public should be quite aware about that and uh, because the lung cancer is one of the most commonest cancer in India and the best way to cure them is to detect early and screen them early. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. So if you have any queries about the lung cancer diagnosis management, please consult the local doctor to make you understand that early lung cancer is curable and detectable.